weird sounds. Fixing sound. Okay, you guys can hear me? Well, that was so weird. I'm going to check this microphone one second. Let's see how we're doing. Good morning, Jennifer. Yeah, so you can hear me okay? Yes. Woohoo! Oh, thank goodness. Love tech challenges. Love, love, love on the live. Okay. Howdy, everybody. Whoever is here with me live. Jennifer, I see you. Thank you for letting me know if you're here live, dropping a comment or a wave or a hello. Um, and then if you are on the replay, of course, hashtag replay in the comments. So I know you've been able to catch this. So weird sound is gone. I can hear you now. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Jennifer. So, oh, excuse me while I readjust. Hello, everybody. I'm going to close my heater because it's blowing hot air at me. Good morning. For anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Heather McGregor. I am the founder of Naturally Present, and I am all about busting up shadow, stepping into our power, doing whatever it takes to get out of the thinking, overthinking, over-dramatizing realm, and getting into the body, and really creating the things that we desire. So, um, for everyone in the group here, and anyone who's new, I hope you all saw the February challenge I put out. So this is not like a five-day challenge where you need to show up every day, et cetera, et cetera. I'm challenging you to make February the month you reach your goals. I'm challenging myself, I'm challenging you. Let's just step up and really stand for what it is we desire. That's what I'm calling in for everybody here this month. So if you didn't see that yesterday, you can go back and look at the post. The post that went out this morning is an invitation for you to declare, like claim what are you creating this month? Make it loud, make it bold, stand for it, decree it, declare it, put it in the comments, let us know what are you gonna create this month? What are you gonna take full responsibility for? What are you going to drop all the lies and illusions for? What are you going to do whatever it takes for? What is your goal? So let's make February that energy for you this February. And as a recap, yesterday we talked about, you know, money is always responding to you. So we talked about the necessary requirement to really go all in on whatever it is you're doing. And that's what the energy of February is like, go all in, go for your desire, go for gold. <laughs> money is always responding to you. But what you need to look at is whether you're in that passive bystander on the sideline energy or you're in that active creator intuition of doing whatever is required, right? So that's what we talked about yesterday. And today we are calling in our inner liar. <laughs> We're calling out the liar in us. And yes, we all have one. Yes, you have one. Yes, I have one. We all have that aspect of us that lies to ourselves. And this is really looking at the realm of child which is the shadow side and the sovereign, which is the powered side of that, that realm, that spectrum. So, you know, we know that money comes from throwing yourself all in, right? Really jumping into the money game, the wealth game, whatever, whatever terms you use and you connect with. And most often going all in on something that is different to what we've done before will feel uncomfortable, um, unnatural, uh, it stretches us, it doesn't feel in flow. We tell ourselves that's not who I am. Um, I don't resonate with that. I don't like that action. I don't, I don't, I don't. We tell ourselves all these things. And the reason why is because of course, when we stretch ourselves, when we go for our desires, when we go for a different experience to create something that is different than what we have right now in this moment, we are bringing different parts of ourselves online. We're awakening aspects of ourselves. We're stretching. It's not comfortable. <laughs> it's not meant to be comfortable, but we like comfort. We will have a tendency in those moments to want to turn back around and go back to the way things were, right? We want to um, continue in our comfort zone. We want to maybe put our toe in the water, but we pull it back and settle back into that, that aspect of ourself and our life that's comfortable, known, familiar. It resonates. It feels in flow. It feels easy. And then nothing changes, right? And every time we do this, we are feeding our shadow. Shadow, shadow energy is always holding a lie in place for us. 
Shadows always lie. Shadow is the lie energy. And shadow desperately needs that lie to stay in place. It clings to it. And it will tell you that um, the more you control things, the more you're going to make money. The more you figure it out, the more you're logical, the more you stay in your rational mind, you're going to make more money. But let me ask you, has that worked so far for you? I can share from my own experience, it, it hasn't. And it doesn't because you're in shadow. Shadow holds power hostage. It holds it at bay. And remember, money is responding to active energy, right? That energy of creation, which means that you are trying different things. You're listening to intuition. You're acting on your intuition. You're letting your warrior try different things. And that is naturally going to lead you to your result. And, you know, intuition is not linear. It is not logical. It is not rational. Sometimes you're like, what the heck? I'm not doing that. Why, why is my intuition telling me to do this? Right? The mind gets involved and we start questioning. All of this work, if you really want to create something different in your life, more money, more clients, healthier business, healthier body, healthier life, whatever it is you wish to have that's different, you got to take a leap of faith, many leaps of faith, right? It requires that leap of faith. To truly create your desire, you have to be coming from true power, not shadow lie. It's required. There is no way to go around it. There's no way to go over it. There's no way to bypass it. You got to go through it. So our inner liar, that part of us that likes to lie, that's the realm of the child. And it starts to get keyed up here when you're following intuition, when you're taking these actions that are different to who you think you are, who you've been in the past, what you're comfortable with, what you feel isn't, doesn't resonate, all the stuff that the mind tells us. That gets the inner liar geared up and into action because you're now choosing something that isn't logical, isn't known, isn't feel familiar, isn't comfortable because you're choosing power over shadow because you are changing yourself as you are required to do. If you want something different, you have to be different. And shadow doesn't like that. Shadow does not like to let go of control. Shadow does not like to be ignored. Shadow doesn't want to die. <laughs> shadow wants you to keep that bond in place, that tie you have to the core lie that has kept you safe and brought you the experience that you have so far. To step out of that requires you to break that attachment, that bond you have with the shadow, and then the shadow loses power, it loses control, and it doesn't like that. It never, ever, ever wants you to break your connection or your belief or your bond or your tie-in to the illusion that it's holding in place for you. And shadow will always do whatever it can to keep your attention on it so that you continue to create in that same realm. So shadow is always a lie. Intuition is always going to lead you to truth. So when you're listening to your shadow, when you are animating your shadow, you're lying to yourself because shadow is lie. This is your inner liar animated. Does that make sense? Let me know if that's clear. I know it's a little bit of a, a strange thing. Oh, good. Okay. So we're all good. So let me give you an example from my own life. So um, a few months ago, I, I set a goal. I wanted to create 20K in that month. This was last year. I set that goal, but I didn't meet it. I did not create that goal. Then I felt deflated. Um, I felt bad about myself. All the unworthiness was fed. I fed the shadow. I'm not capable. I don't have what other people have. It's too hard for me. Whatever, you know, I had lots of story going on, lots of shadow lies about myself in that story. And this was me feeding the lie. I was lying to myself that I actually was going to do whatever it takes to create that 20K month. I wasn't serious about that. I set that goal as a dream. I set it as a hope, a wish, a dream, a prayer, but I did not set it as something I was going to do, a command. I did not take my sovereign command of creating it. It felt good to say, oh, I'm gonna have a 20K month. It sounded good. 20k month doesn't that sound amazing but i did not energetically take responsibility for creating it and and command that it be so 
right? That's the sovereign energy when you get, take command of something. Instead, my child felt. Now remember, I've talked about this before, your thoughts and feelings, they're irrelevant. They don't matter. But the shadow keeps us tied into how we're feeling and the emotions because it's known, it's safe and secure. But my child felt how lovely and amazing and empowering it would be to create a 20K month. But she wasn't willing to go outside of her comfort zone, to fully submit to my intuition, to do whatever it took to command that into my reality, to make it matter. I didn't make it matter. It was a dream and a wish, realm of the child. I was not in command. I did not make it matter, which is what the sovereign does. So I'm going to give you another very concrete example that I know everybody I know can relate to. And that's, I'm going to exercise dot, dot, dot tomorrow. We all know that there is a very high probability that tomorrow will be the same as today. You will not get up and exercise. We're going to say the exact same. Tomorrow you're going to say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And then the next day you say, well, I'll start the next day. I don't have time today. Um, I forgot to set my alarm. I didn't put my running shoes out. I don't feel like it today. I just don't feel aligned with that activity today. So I'm going to start tomorrow. This is the realm of lies. You set an intention, a desire to exercise and you have your reasons for it, healthy your body, tone, lose weight, whatever your reasons are. Those are kind of, you know, on the sidelines as well. The, the, the desire is I'm going to exercise. That's it. We drop all the other content around why you're going to do it. I'm going to exercise. You decree it, you declare it, you make it so, and you take command. That means you put your shoes on, you put your mat out, you do the thing you said you're going to do. Oftentimes we say in a very passive energy, I'm going to exercise tomorrow. That's passive energy. Life doesn't respond to it. You don't take command for it. It doesn't happen. The next day you say the same thing over and over and over. Let me know, raise your hand if this is a familiar scenario. I know everyone I know has dealt with this. Whether it's with money, whether it's with your business, whether it's with exercise, whether it's with, uh, you know, cleansing your body or eating healthier, whatever the thing is. We say we want something, but we say it with passive energy. We do not take responsibility and command for it. Because when you do, then you drop all the other content around it. I don't like exercise. It doesn't feel in flow. It makes my knees hurt. Whatever the content you have around it, you're listening to that, which is the lies of the shadow that keeps the shadow lie in place. It keeps your shadow identity living and breathing. You're animating the shadow. And the shadow is the lie. And this is all within the realm of the child, right? The child is that she loves to dream, but she doesn't take responsibility for making it happen. She doesn't step into her power. She doesn't allow her power. She struggles to really access her own power. She'd prefer other people to do things for her. She will lie, she will manipulate, and she can be very, very subtle about it, right? She wants something for nothing. I want the money. I don't want to do the work to get it. I don't want to bust my shadow. That's the child energy. She wants it to be handed to her. She wants it to be easy. Now the sovereign, she doesn't care if it's easy or hard. She doesn't have any content. She simply knows that this is what I'm creating. That's it. She doesn't care what anyone else has or doesn't have or does or doesn't do, what actions she sees other people doing on Facebook. She doesn't care. She cares about her creation. Her creation is her command. And she takes full, sovereign, adult responsibility for her own mastery to master her energy, to master be a master over her shadows, over the lies, and she's willing to learn from her mistakes. You know, she's willing to, to, to command her warrior and her magician to get active and try things. They may or may not work, but she's willing to do them, learn from them, grow from them, change, shape shift who she is in order to have her desire become reality. She makes the, the desire matter and none of the other content. I don't feel like exercising today. She doesn't make that matter. What she makes matter is this is what I'm doing today. I'm exercising right? So I hope you can see how powerful that is when it comes to creating money in your business. If you've been struggling with this, it's because you are animating the shadow, which means you are feeding the lie. Your inner liar is working. <laughs> She's got your attention and it's not um, something to berate yourself about. We all do it. 
but it is about noticing. Start to be more and more present throughout your day and notice what energy am I animating? What am I listening to? What am I bringing to creation? What am I bringing to life right now? Because again, the easy example of I'm going to exercise, if your desire is to be healthier, let's say you want to, I don't know, you want to lose 10 pounds. So you set this um, intention to exercise more and your energy fields comes up with all the reasons why you're not going to do it right now because of your shadow, because of your past, because of your habits, because of your identity, because of who you think you are, because you feel like you have to trust your feelings and be in flow and everything needs to feel floofy and resonant, whatever the details are. And you're animating that, meaning you're bringing that to life. You're breathing life into the shadow. Nothing changes. But when you're really, really present and you notice there's content, there's story, there's beliefs, all that stuff coming up, you can choose to simply not pay any attention. You can notice it, but you choose to unhook, let it just pass on through you and you do the thing anyway that's being in your sovereign your child's going to throw all the stuff at you go eat ice cream you know go watch netflix whatever your storyline is your child's going to throw all of that in you to keep the lie the shadow alive you simply notice and you stay in your command you know what you're creating you take that leap of faith and you trust what your intuition tells you to do next get on your mat and exercise, go for your walk, go for your run, whatever the thing is. That's just a really easy example. And I mean, this is so prevalent in business. We have so many embedded beliefs about our lack of capacity, lack of ability. We're not smart enough. We don't have the right audience. I don't know who to reach out to. I go through this all the time. I don't know how to connect with the right people. That's just a lie that my shadow, my mind tells me over and over. And when I can let go of control and get out of the way, suddenly there's people in front of me and I'm having conversations. But when I get into the lie, my inner liar, I don't know who to connect with. And I believe that and I empower that and I embody that. Nothing's happening because energy responds to active energy. <laughs> I'm animating my shadow. So that's what I get back. When I can let go of that, and be still and trust the thing that I'm guided to do next from my intuition. Again, really getting into the body, getting out of the, the mind, the realm of the saboteur, getting into the body and trusting the energy that's moving through me. When I don't feel it, what I do is I go and move. I do some of my quantum flow practice, some something to get energy back in my body, to bring my awareness out of here and bring it down into the body. Then the next movement is clear. And then the mind will say, well, I want to know if I reach out to that person, how are they going to respond? That's the mind. That is the realm of the lie, the saboteur. You don't need to know. <laughs> you just need to take the action and see what happens. Right? The sovereign takes command of what's going to occur. She takes that aligned action. She guides her warrior to get into that intuitive um, action and just to be moving, moving, moving without the overthinking but she commands it. The child will feed you all the reasons why not, all the reasons why tomorrow's better, all the lies. You don't know how, you can't do this, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, I can rant. Um, so be aware, be present, naturally present. Do what you can to be more and more present throughout the day. Tune into the energy you got moving through you and notice what you're animating. That's the key. So we're going to talk tomorrow. Tomorrow is, um, are you, what is it? Are you hoping and wishing or are you commanding? So we're looking at the sovereign more in depth tomorrow. If you haven't got your application in for animate your soul blueprint yet, now is the time. Uh, this is really about animation. Like what is it you're animating and really moving from shadow to power and making that a lived experience. So if you need the link for that, uh, let me know. I'll send it off to you. But you know, take this February challenge. This It's more of an invitation, this invitation to go all in this month. I'm right there with you. We're doing it together. We are all in to creating what it is we desire to create really shifting from shadow into power and from survival, from being in survival mode into thriving. That's the big difference, right? Shadow is all about surviving, being safe, being comfortable. Thriving is all about magic, manifesting, creating, trying different things, shape-shifting ourselves into different 
new, exciting things we've never explored in ourselves before. So that's the invitation for this month. I hope you guys are in. Uh, let me know in the comments, like claim it. And then go back to that post I put out, I think it was early this morning, asking what is February, what's your creation? What are you making this February? What is it that you are going to create? And then stand on it, stand behind it, stand for it, do what is needed to make it happen. And we support each other as we go through this. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a beautiful day and a very empowered day. Be present. Notice your energy, notice your shadows, and choose power anyway. Get into your sovereign command. And join me tomorrow for that. We're going to get deeper into the sovereign. But you know, this is really about exploring the child. Your inner liar is the child. So notice where you're lying to yourself. Are you saying the words, I want a 20K month, but your energy is not behind it? You're not standing solid and firm for it? That's a lie. You're feeding your shadow. Are you saying I'm going to eat healthier, but then you go and do exactly the same things tomorrow? You, there's no, it's a passive energy. The words are coming out of your mouth. You know it's the right thing to do mentally and intellectually, but you're not embodying it. You're not empowered. You're not standing up for it. So be clear. And you know what? If, it's, if you don't want 20K months or 10K months, or you don't want the thing that you've all along been saying you desire, own that too. That's not your true desire. I always talk about this. The number one thing is get clear on what you truly have a taste for. And then you stand for that. You command that. You get in command for that. All right, guys, I could go on forever about this stuff, as you know. So I will see you tomorrow. I think we're nine o'clock as well. Same time tomorrow. And we're going to talk about, you know, are you hoping and wishing or are you commanding? And let me know in the comments, what are you declaring for your February? What are you creating? What are you standing for? All right. Beautiful day, everyone. Bye for now.